I watched the show a couple days ago. I'm already hooked. Yay, that's what we want to hear. It's good. That's good. And I really like Jane because you're kind of figuring out what's going on for me as yes, a viewer. Yes, yes. So. I, th I definitely think Jane starts off as a very um, innocent and optimistic young lady. And then I think her job is to kind of start piecing together all the clues that are around her to try and work out why creepy things keep happening in this building. Yeah, well, there's one really creepy scene. It was when you went up to the rooftop and then when you went back to bed and then we saw that your feet were yeah. all dirty. So kind of decode that a little bit for us. Well, um, somewhere in the pilot is a very kind of disturbing dream sequence, or we think that it's a dream, but then when my character Jane wakes up the next morning, we see some real, real life evidence that maybe it wasn't a dream. Right. And I think that's going to happen kind of frequently with the show, that when we, just when we think, oh, I'm being silly, it was a dream, or it was just a broken light, or it was cold down there because it, it's just the heating's broken, that, that there's going to be like a supernatural um, explanation for all of these kind of things that keep happening. What drew you into the script originally? Um, well, I like the idea that we all have um, we all have things that we want very, very badly in life. We all have things we desire, and I like the question: uh, How far are we going to go to get them? Yeah. You know what I mean? I like that idea. We all have pressure points, and if someone can figure out how to push that pressure point really specifically, then we could all be in a lot of trouble. It's you know? True. Well, yeah. In your real life, what's something that you've done to maybe Ooh. get something that you you something want? Something that I've done to get something that I want. Yeah. You know, I, I, I've definitely... It's a hard one, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm sure I've, like, seduced some man for something at a certain point. That's not maybe. a bad one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's life, you know? Yeah. Well, where do you hope that the show goes? Because I know you guys have only shot the one episode so far, right? Um... Yeah, we've only shot the one episode and we're starting the next one next week. Oh. Um, I want to see Jane start trusting her instincts about um, her, her suspicions about the building and what's going on with Terry O'Quinn um, or, or his character who's, who's kind of got a very devilish aspect. And then I want to see her start challenging what's going on. So I want her to uncover the mystery and then I want her to start trying to fix it. Yes, I want that too. Yeah, want Let's make that happen. Too. Yeah, well, the writer just moved over there, so I'll yeah. go and I'll go I and. I would have told him already. Him yeah. 20. <laughs> yeah, right. Well, you and uh, Dave Annabelle's character, you guys have great chemistry. He's the sweetest. But you He's the sweetest guy. You and Rob Buckley a little bit when you guys first met in the pilot. Oh. Yeah. Oh, okay. What do you think sure. about that? I think great. I think Rob <laughs> Buckley is super handsome. Um, uh, I, I didn't I didn't know that that was there, but I'm... I think so, a little bit. Sure, maybe I could just, like, have... I don't know. I could have ke chemistry with a bunch of people on the show. You love triangle. Great. Perfect. I think he's already in a love triangle, but though. She got really badly injured. Yeah, but I think she's going to make it. Okay. I think she's going to okay. make it. All right. Yeah. So you sort of solved that one for yeah, me. <laughs> Sorry. Whoops. No, but maybe she's also dead. Maybe. Yeah. Well, and lastly, she's, not. <laughs> she's not dead. She's alive. Uh, why should people tune in? Because I think, I think the show offers something that's going to be very creepy, but I also think it's going to be really interesting watching all of our characters get seduced or not seduced. Right. Like, what happens to the people who, who won't kind of strike a deal with the devil? Don't, doesn't everyone have to? Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. So maybe. We'll see.